Hey, today I'm going to teach you how to download files off of Scribd for free. The first thing you want to do is have a free account set up. You don't need to pay anything, just create an account. The second thing you want to do is find the file that you want to download. We're going to need some information from the address bar later on. Once you do that, you want to click to upload a file. I know this doesn't make sense. We want to download, but trust me, it will when we're done. So click here on the upload button and select a document to upload. Create, Pick something small that is going to take a brief amount of time. Uh, you're going to want to title it. You're going to want to description it. And while it's uploading here, we'll be able to do that. Do not click the Make This Document Private button. And when it's done, we're going to go ahead and click the Done button. Just like that. Now what we want is the embed code, okay? So you click that, copy it, and what we're going to do is bring it over here and paste it. Now, up here I have this link so you can easily see. What we want, there are several links in this part here, what we just copied and pasted. What we want to find is the link that has access key and then access key. So right it's usually right here at the bottom so we got, we're going to find the beginning of that which is here https and then everything that's before it we're going to delete then we're going to find access key and we're going to find the key here and then we're going to look for the ampherstand and where it says show recommendations and anything after the ampherstand is what we're going the ampherstand itself and anything after it we're going to delete it so now we've got this link here the next thing we're going to do is highlight this and we're going to come back to that file that we want to download back to the address bar and we're going to select this, copy it, come back over to here and paste it in. Now we take the whole link and we come over here and I'm going to open a new window and paste it in here. Okay? and I'm going to click enter. Now we're going to wait for it to load, but after this we'll be able to download it. It's probably going to take a second here. Now on a Mac, you just click the Command P or the Apple P button, and you get a little uh, download, save as PDF. Okay, and this is how we can do it. So I'm just going to put test save it to desktop and if you have a Mac or Chrome or something you may have another way to do it there's a download button here you might be able to click on that and you can do that here but it doesn't look like it's gonna work or maybe it does download PDF okay so there's two ways to make it work and it's probably gonna open up uh, whatever file but um, go to my desktop, see that it's here, this is test, open it up, and that's it. You've got the file that you want, and you didn't have to pay anything. So there you go. Hope this uh, finds you well. Here's another, ah, crap. Here's another one, and uh, yeah, that's it. So enjoy.